Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. I got some plays for you today out of a alternate playbook. I'm using the Run Balance playbook. Uh, this is a playbook I can't say this is very popular. As far as the alternate playbooks go, uh, I would say West Coast is the most popular. Uh, but I'm using the Run Balance today, and the, and the formation I'm using, you're looking at it right now, the single back ace double wing. Uh, this one here, I made a video about this maybe mid-season of Madden. A uh, guy ran this formation and this formation only against me about 99% of the time. And it was one of the most frustrating formations to stop because all the tight ends, I mean, it's just such a loaded power formation. It's an, an amazing running formation. But he was passing on me. That was the crazy part about it is he was using pass plays to whoop me up and down. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break down this formation for you guys today. So let's go ahead and let's get into it. Single back, ace, double wing. Uh, like I said, to me, the most, you know, the best thing about this is the run formations just because you have you know so much power so much size on this on this formation so i'm gonna go with the halfback stretch now i wish i would have put in a little bit of a faster back but it really doesn't matter this play right here it's balanced so no matter where you are on the field your opponent's never really gonna know which way the ball is going there is no strong side so you can, you know, you can go ahead, you can play games. If you flip it and you see him react like he thinks it's going to the one side, you can act like you're flipping it again and have it going to the same side. Or you can just run it. You can run it to the open side of the field. It doesn't matter. This formation's perfectly set up just like it is. You can't, I wish you could motion a guy over and make it like a three tight end side, but you can't. The computer won't let you do that. They, they know that that's not, <laughs> that that's really going to make it overpowered. So let's go ahead and let's run it just like this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read my keys. I think I got more space on the short side. I actually want to move the ball back. I don't even want to have a short side. Now, this is perfect to run the middle of the field so let's go ahead and let's run just like this now I'm, I'm reading we have a safety in the box a strong safety in the box so i'm gonna go to the opposite end obviously if it's a cover three you can see how the blocking is just ferocious hopefully i can make this dude miss and we get a touchdown on first first carry that's how easy this play is it's so overpowered i don't think this formation is in any other book there's a similar looking formation out of the panthers playbook but it's in the shotgun and if you actually are familiar with the uh the setup i'll see if i can find it here real quick uh, the shock and heavy panther there's just not a lot of plays they're, they're all up the middle uh pretty much there's no outside toss plays um so it's not nearly as effective as like i said there's not nearly as much of a variety either so it doesn't have any outside run plays like this one here is really that much better because you can you can run plays outside unlike that one you can't so that's what makes this particular formation so dominant is it has stretch plays and stuff like that the panther one does not so it's not nearly as good now, as far as where you can get an advantage running the ball on any given play, it's really hard to say. Uh, this is a cover two. I can pretty much tell, at least I'm guessing it is. Maybe it's cover two man or zone. I'm not really sure yet. But it's really hard to tell, you know, where there's an advantage. That defensive end on the right side looked like he's in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to get outside of that. And you can see there we get a hole. Uh, but there's no real, you know, it's going to be different every play. You can motion over one of the inside tight ends. You can't motion the outside tight end for some reason over to the other side, but the inside tight end you can. Um, I don't think it makes the play better. It, uh, it it makes it gives away where the play is going, which is one of the benefits to the to the even stack. Uh, but you can see you can still get some good carries out of it. But I find the the you know not knowing where the ball is going is one of the best things on this formation. Um, I do have a pass play where you motion over one of the inside tight ends in the part two video. If you wanted to check that out, hit the like button and I'll do that. Um, but uh, I don't think as far as the run plays go, I don't find it's necessarily better. See here, when you move the outside guy, he doesn't really, he doesn't do what you want to do. Typically, three tight ends, you can see how the, the defense shifts when the guy motions over. What do you think your opponent's going to do? You know what I mean? They're, they're definitely going to start moving that way. But sometimes it doesn't matter. This 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 blocking can be dominant to the point where it doesn't matter. You can see there it gets stuffed. Uh, but I find that when you motion over three tight ends, you really have, um, it, it changes the blocking setup. As I messed that up. <clears throat> I feel like it changes the blocking setup to who's blocking what. So I don't find it's necessarily a benefit. So that's it. We're going to go to move on to the next play. The next run play I'm going to show out of this. I mean, there's inside runs like the dive. Obviously, you're going to have to throw that in there every once in a while. Um, on the dive, there might be a slight variation uh, that you want to do. But the next play I'm going to show is the weak toss. I might go over more one more run play in this. I'll try to do it quick. But the weak toss is a little bit different. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Now, I said in the previous run play that you can motion over um, one of these inside tight ends to make it kind of a, a three tight end to the side. That's probably 
going to be very beneficial for this play. You can motion snap them too, so it's going to look a lot like uh, some other plays that I put out this year uh, where you motion snap the toss. Um, you just have to kind of do it when he's behind the tight ends. You can see how the blocking is, uh, is much better when you have the motion hike. I think motioning over a blocker is definitely key to this play. I wouldn't say the same about the stretch. I feel like the stretch is better just like it is. Uh, but when you run this play without the, the, the motion tight end, I feel like um, you, you just leave a guy unblocked. And, mo and motioning over this tight end is definitely key to the success of this play. Um, as you can see there, the blocking just didn't work out. But my juke skills are so tight. We get five. Yeah, the stretch play, I feel like, is better without motioning a tight end over, but this one here is, is just, it's not good without it. You need to motion over somebody. As you can see here, it's going to follow 86 and get a nice big run. I, I could have, I got closer touch on 25 yards. But it's all about the motion block. If you don't motion block, you're going to be shorthanded. You're not going to have enough blockers. And this is a man coverage. Uh, I didn't get the motion hike in, but it's whatever. We're gonna run just like this, and you can see typically when they when they blitz, they just leave nobody back, and it's just you just get through one line, you're gone. Uh, this this formation, it looks like a run heavy formation, and believe me, it really is a good one. But uh, there's some really good pass plays in it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you some of these plays. The first one, which is one of the tougher ones for me, was the tight end corner. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. Uh, we're gonna run. I mean, if you really want to. You know, I, I can hear the comment section already. If somebody's gonna be like, well, I'll just run nickel or dime. No, you can't because somebody will just flip into, flip into a, a run play and just tear you apart. So I gotta stick to the 4-3. I know some people might not think, you know, I'm giving myself enough challenge because these are pass plays. But realistically, you can't go to formations like this because you're just gonna get mauled. So let's go ahead and let's go random 4-3. So this particular formation, there's there's a couple different things you can do. I feel like the uh, Lovato's route, I don't really care for that. I mean, if it was on a drag, I think I'd like it a little bit better. Uh, but realistically i think the tight end corner um which is something that a lot of people uh, a route a, a formation that a lot of people like to run is probably your best audible um as you can see here i mean you got a cornerback on i don't even think laval is a tight end. i think he's like a long snapper but if you want to um put you know maybe a fullback or somebody you have to have a lot of good tight ends to run this formation but if you play mutt realistically you do i mean people have a a, a million good everything in mutt so you're going to need that for this um, but that I would say Lovato, I would either have him in his bench switch or just put him in a drag as your check down. And he'll work well under the triangle route, uh, realistically. So the big play here is square. I mean, that, especially in his cover, too. I mean, that's just, he's not even covered. So th that's really your progression. You're going to see square get open quite a bit. Uh, Sell it's pretty good, too. Um, I think that the running back, he's good to block. But you have the option to motion him out if you want him to do something else. Uh, I don't really think that this combination is good with him um you know i i like lot i didn't mean to put the bottom in the, in the drag you can put r1 in the drag and he's still giving you a pretty good check down option uh but this is a really good option here but you can see how there's just such a spread formation and burton's just eating up in the middle there you don't even need you don't really need to make audibles i think lovato um is best served like that but if you want to run it just like this like i said the drag is a little bit safer but if you want to run it just like this it's a pretty good setup uh here we got is that Ertz the other way uh, as you get some separation anytime you got man coverage his man's going to get destroyed by this yeah i feel this is really one of the harder formations to cover especially in pass plays because when you're getting beat on the ground the way that this formation beats on the ground you're going to start blitzing you're going to start taking chances you're going to start you know those linebackers are going to suck in and uh, that's what's really going to make uh this is a really great play action formation i know this isn't the play action but for whatever reason why is Ertz beating outside like that that is insane i don't know why this formation does that uh, but you can see, even with corners and safeties covering Ertz and Lovato, they're getting outside. I mean, that's just the way this formation is. I mean, once again, like, I don't know where that guy's going, but he's just giving up Ertz every time. I don't know what he's covering there. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like I said, Selleck didn't catch it. He's not that great. He's really old and slow. But you can see how it just pulls lanes. I'm not even sure what defense this is. It looks like they're running cover two consistently right now. But just it, putting him on that flat just makes that defender commit. Look at that. It, look, he's just running over there immediately. The safety's out of position. He's getting back. He just runs straight back, and he just gets beat. I mean, it's wide open. So this is a really glitchy setup here, just putting him on that beat. So once again, see how he just runs off like that? It's the same setup every time. It looks like they're running cover two every time. Watch the replay. You have the safety down the box because of the setup. And then he has to react, and he just sprints back and just gives the lane to slow bump Selleck every time. 
I mean, that guy just runs out into the flat. Like, that flat just pulls him down, like, right away. He's not even in a position to really choose between the two. By the time the ball's delivered, he's just wide open. I mean, that's just – that's Sean Lee, too, man. That was number 50. I didn't even know that. So, let's go ahead and let's move on. Sean Lee is one of the best linebackers on this team and in the game, in my opinion, especially when it comes to zone coverage. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to go to the next pass play, which is the PA counter waggle. Like I said, eventually – Play action is going to be king with all the run plays. Make sure you watch that first video, like I was saying. So what I would suggest to do is um, I like putting Ertz across the field. I already have the low route there represented. So putting him going across the field is, uh, is much better. But you can see, like I said, this guy's going to have a really quick open route. That was not a very athletic move there. Yeah, this play, you can run it just like this. Um, this is a pretty good setup. Uh, I like the check and release that the uh, that the X route is doing, but the play is really all about this outside tight end. It's a horrible tight end. Lovato is like a 50 overall, but any normal tight end when they get open there. But um, yeah, this uh, if you put if you leave Ertz in that check and release, he's gonna run the cell. Like, I want him to just sprint out right away, and you can see how he's just wide open in the flat there. That's gonna be your best bet. A check and release is just is just crap. I'll go ahead and I'll show you the check and release real quick. Um, like I said, you're going to see how they basically end up at the same spot a lot of the times. It didn't really work out anyway, but they're too close. So the check and release is, is, is problematic. I really wish I would have switched Burton over with Lovato. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the other side and flip it. So we're going to flip the play. There's no animation when you flip the play, which is cool. Um, it's not going to give anything away. And we're going to run it to a real stud tight end in Burton. Chicago just got a nice tight end when they picked him up. You can see how athletic he is. And how easy he makes that play look. Uh, Selleck, I, I mean, I would rather have Ertz doing what Selleck's doing, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So here we go. Burton, once again, this dude's a monster. Base, almost a touchdown there. Who knows? Yeah, and another thing you can do is you can motion over Ertz. Take away the play action in this scenario. You can't use this, this type of play with a play action. But you're going to see how quickly he gets open. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to run this. Quick snap it. Um, go ahead and put it. It doesn't always work against cover two, but that looked like cover two and it worked. So I'm going to try to do it again. If it's a cover three, it's going to be incredible. If it's a cover four, it's going to be, you know, you're going to have that all day. But um, this looks like another cover two, but I'm going to go ahead and run it anyway. So what we're going to do, like I said, cancel that play action. Looks like it's, um, I don't know what that was. I didn't mean to float it up there, but it still caught it and ran it for about 10. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip it. It really has nothing to do with the play. Uh, flip it, motion them over. Like I said, this whole play can be stopped if you don't, <laughs> if you still have the play action on it, it takes the whole thing away because you really need to throw this right away. You can see here, he just kind of, I don't know why, but the defender just kind of fades. It's an easy 5 to 10 every time. I said, not necessary, unless you have a really good athlete, like if you have a really good athletic tight end, he, like Ertz is, you can probably beat a cover two. This looks like a cover two. I would say cover two isn't necessarily the best defense to run this against but Ertz is really good <laughs> so he gets outside of it anyway like I said I maybe that wasn't a cover too but he beat it and I'm looking you know like I said five yards is probably the minimum I want out of that um, I, I think you get much more if you have a more like Ertz but 79 speed or something like that I'm not sure what he is now maybe they improved it but if you get like an 80 plus speed tight end real athletic he's going to get even more once again, cover two. He's just beating that. He just sitting, sits down right in front of the cover two guy. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.